So today we are going to see how will you edit the items in the site code 10 or in case site code only. Uh, what is the difference between user switcher and the security disabler and what is the recommended option. So let's see. Welcome to our channel my site code diaries. This is Jitendra. I am a site code architect from Mumbai. If you are not uh, visited or you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please, if you like the videos, please uh, comment and uh, uh, share with the other people. Okay, please click on the bell icons to get more details. So today's topic: working with site code items and fields. Working with items. So, what is site core context? Okay, what is site core context item? It is a collection that exists for the lifetime of the HTTP request. So basically, it holds the information about the current uh, site core request. So that holds all the information about the request, which item it is, what is the parent item for which that uh, that item has, all the information about the context item is stored. Okay, in the site core context dot items. We'll see in, uh, now the uh, some simple code uh, sample, okay, which which view will be required for the uh, uh, any operation on the items, okay. Um, the first thing is to getting the database. Uh, you 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 have to use the configuration dot factory dot get database. So get database you have to provide the name of the database. So it can be master if you want to get uh, information from the master, then it is a master, and you can have a web. Uh, if you want to get it from the core then you can have the code then for the getting items you can have a two kind of a uh, uh, code we can return you can get item uh, information using the item path or you can get, get the information by using the id of that item then the mvc field helpers okay so mvc field helpers are basically the site core controls okay which will help you to render the site core field directly okay you if you see here html site core field dot title it will convert that of, uh, into the appropriate html uh, structure okay when it is in the runtime so some of the example i am given here the field dot title then link you have uh, then you have a heading uh, and you can also pass the parameters which are using the mvc helper extension okay so these are the basic uh, uh, basic codes which you might require i think i'm not going into the details of the coding i think if you have a hands on you will when you will have a hands on you will know it uh, no, uh, okay so i'm not giving the code i'm just trying to understand giving the concept now okay so let's uh, see the next uh, topic create update and delete so we, we are going to see uh, how we can operate on the uh, uh, site core items programmatically okay so how can you create update and delete so there are these seven steps which you need to follow to operate on the any site core item okay so and this is the la sample example of a code how you can update the uh, site core item so what are the seven steps first step is the change the security context okay so whenever the site core uh, request is coming it runs into some context okay it runs into the user context whatever the user which is logged in with that context it is uh, it is running okay so if you are operating anything it will be under that user uh, if there is a no login then it will be anonymous user okay so that user may not have the um, what you say may not have the permission to update any item in the site code so in that case we have to change the security context and that can be done by the two ways one is the security uh, disabler and another is a user switcher okay so that is the first step that you have to uh, switch the security context so if you can see the code set here using new security disabler that is the changing the security context okay then second uh, step will be to get the database okay so generally uh, uh, in fact it is recommended that you should be using the master database only to get the uh, get the item and then you uh, it should be published uh, then only it should go to the web otherwise what will happen is uh, you will get the data from the web but uh, 
you update it, it the item will get updated but someone will update from the run the publishing from the master it will get override so it is better to get the data from the master database okay and if you are operating on the code i think it is always better to get the data from the master database okay so we already seen how the master data can be taken from the database so you will see a master and taking the item okay then the retrieve the item existing item or a create new item so you want to retrieve any update the item then you have to retrieve the item the item can be retrieved by using the path or can be id and if you want to create a new one then you will need a parent item where you want to create that item as a child okay so in both cases you have to retrieve the uh, item okay now if you want to edit that item then you have to use the editing state so new item editing dot begin edit will put the item into editing state then only you can edit it otherwise it will be read only you can't change that uh, value of an item so okay so so you have to write take new item editing begin dot edit so begin dot edit will start editing the item the next step will be uh, you have to perform any operation then you can do it like you have to set an item field value then you can do that and the, at the end at the sixth point you should be saving it and for saving it you have a editing dot end edit uh, so this is similar uh, must be you are seeing in the MB, mbc or in the dot net code also that you you should be editing the items then like that only you write a code right uh, in the in the uh, uh, if i remember correctly it is in the table uh, a data row and data grid this is how you also do it right begin you have a editing stage and then saving stage so similarly you have here beginning edit we put the item into the beginning uh, editing mode and then you can save it by using editing dot end uh, edit then you can publish it now that publish can be on the manually or you can have a uh, code for a uh, publishing these are the seven steps which you need to follow to update uh, or uh, create any item or uh, delete any item in the site code so we have seen that editing con uh, sorry security context you can use a user switcher and the security switcher so site code recommend to use a user switcher so but why user switcher that we are going to see here uh, site code requests are executed in the context of the current user as i explained earlier okay so whatever the context of the current user that will get executed in non-logged in cases the requests are made context of the anonymous user okay so anonymous user if there is no login then it is it will be anonymous user for editing an item user should have the proper permission without the permission user cannot edit it okay so now there are two problems one is the user's permission or maybe that user itself okay so there are two options whether you switch the user you use another user that is called user switcher and you just disable the security that is called as the security uh, switcher okay so user switcher and security disabler so this is how you use the uh, user switcher okay you pass the user the new user information which you want to switch to okay and this is our security disabler so what basically it does user switcher allows a segment of a code to run under a specific user instead of a current context so using you are using okay so what is the scope whatever the scope you are having that line of a code will be executed under the user whatever you are passing to the user switcher that context okay so you i am a abc and you are passing pqr then that code whatever line of a code that will get executed under pqr not by abc then what is the dis security disabler security disabler elevates uh, uh, elevates uh, the user's permission temporarily so temporarily its permissions are get disabled and it is made it as a administrator rights okay so basically the if i am a abc user and i am a uh, xyz role user it gets temporarily disabled and i am become the administrator for that line of a code that scope okay so that is so this, this is the reason why it is very important to use using also here okay so so why user switcher i think you now you, with the definition itself you, you must have understand that it has a potential dangers to use okay because you are making the user as an administrator here okay the, this can be a very costly and not only that if you do anything with this uh a security disabler is on whatever operation you are performed it will show as a site core anonymous role it will not give you the your name who has done it okay so this is very risky so that is the reason why 
sidecore highly recommends to user choose a switcher okay because it how, how you can do that by user switcher you can configure a special user okay you can you can have a special user creator or special role created within that you can create a special user which will have a specific permissions only so that will save us from doing some uh, costly things okay dangerous thing in the future so that is why user switcher is very useful and so site could recommend to use a user switcher instead of a security disabler complex fields fields which are contains non text values are a complex field so there are uh, simple fields and complex fields simple fields are simple which are text fields okay so which are not the text field those are called as a complex field so what are those okay yeah, we will see the example like image general link date checkbox file these are not a text field okay so those are the uh, uh, complex field you can have a checklist multi list tree list tree list x okay then drop link group drop link drop tree all these are the complex field okay uh, so basically on the complex field you do not die you cannot directly take the values or you can directly render those values okay so how, how we will use uh, work on the fields for the complex field okay how will you how will you operate on the code on the complex field so there are some example which i have taken first is the image field okay so image field if say a banner has a image okay it's a banner image so you have to use this uh, uh, namespace sitecode.data.fields.image field if you want to map it to the image okay so it will give the data into the image field so it is a complex uh, object okay and then from the that object you can have a media item and then from the media item you can have a different thing like alt tag i want and this is how i will be taking it Similarly, we have a, a link field here search link. So this will give me a link field So this is a complex object and then you from that object you can get the value Similarly a multi list multi list like you have a colors like they uh, there will be a multiple co Colors like uh, red white black those colors and that those colors also can be a item there Okay, so in that case you have to use site code or data dot fields dot multi list field. Okay, this is the namespace okay we will get the color fields and color field will have the uh, all the ids all the list of those uh, items okay if to get those items you have to use a get item that will provide you the item in the uh, uh, in the uh, innumerable uh, item format so it will be a list here so the complex field is basically uh, the non text uh, no value so the values the when you operate on it it is also a complex object so accordingly you have to write your code render.render method to transform the field containing the valid HTML site code controls ultimately grow go to this method so we have to use this method filter render dot render method to transform the field contained into the valid HTML so you you write a HTML dot site code dot field at that uh, name like image is there then that should convert to the proper e e HTML of the image then you have to use this method okay this is basically in the background with this method will work it automatically makes field editable in the page editor second important thing to you of this method is the uh, whatever field you are rendering on the uh, uh, on the page okay using the site code control site code mvc helper this method will help you to make that field editable in the experience editor okay uh, then it allows you to pass the parameter that matches the ones available in the site code control it allow it, it it has an extension method which can allows you to pass the parameter like for the image you might want to pass the maximum width and other things so that is allowed in the render method if you are using a rich text editor there might be a urls you are using so to convert those urls to the seo friendly urls you will need a field render so these are the four uh, things which you should be knowing about the field render why we need to use the field render if you have any question you can email me on my email address this is my email address uh, you can contact to me on linkedin this is my linkedin uh, id if you like my video please like on it please uh, share my video uh, please provide your feedback by provide giving the comments please subscribe to the channel uh, the if you subscribe it will motivate me to do more of such videos 
Just click on bell icons to get the notifications. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.